Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. Today guys, we are checking out Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the first time on the channel, and I literally just finished the first film a couple hours ago, and now I'm here checking out the sequel now. I've been hearing from a lot of people that they enjoyed the second film more than the first, some people saying they like the first more than the second, but at the end of the day, it's good to hear that people are really positive about these films. Like, I had heard good things about the first film, and then when the second one came out last year, hearing great things about them, but I never got around to watching them. So, after finishing that first film, I got more excited obviously for the sequel here Sonic the Hedgehog 2 which I like the fact that it's just Sonic the Hedgehog 2 there could have been a subtitle but they said nah let's just go with just adding a 2 because you know I think like that's probably more simpler and probably to do we need a subtitle not really sure but I really enjoyed that first film I really enjoyed seeing Sonic just being awesome and seeing a little bit of the backstory and how he becomes friends essentially with Tom and how that develops over time Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, like, the more I think about his portrayal, even though I literally finished the film a few hours ago, so good. <laughs> so good. Over the top, yes, but not over top to the point where it's too over the top. Like, he was doing it enough, and it really worked, and it's clear, obviously, because we know, because I, I saw the marketing for Son of the Hedgehog, too, that he does return and everything, Knuckles, and, of course, that mid credit scene and for the first film, Tails. Tails is here, so I'm excited. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into it now. I'm excited for this sequel, and when I posted that I finished the first film, people were going, I, I hope you enjoyed it, because I, I was being non-specific, but I was saying I finished the film, we'll hopefully have the video out in a couple days. People were commenting saying, you better get on it now, get on the damn sequel, you better you better have liked this film and everything, and people are like, you're gonna love the sequel if you like the first one. Anyways, guys, let's get into it now, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, let's go. Day 243 in this. Wow. Portobello Purgatory. Planetus, Exodus, Terraturnicus, and Cake Blue Bonicus. And see who comes a knocking. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. They're still on us. Well, of course they are. This is so bad. What the heck are you? Fear not, citizen. Fear not. I am the hero you need. Huh, what are those? Uh-oh. Bombs, bombs, uh -oh. bombs, Oh my god. <laughs> Why did you just let the police handle this? You are terrible at this. You're You're terrible at this. Attitude is not helping. He's taking the he's taking the drug apart. Smart. Blue justice. Blue justice. You're a terrible hero! He doesn't need a towel, he can just shake it off. <laughs> it's like, yeah, acting like he's a kid. Whatever, you're being reckless. Whether you want to hear this or not, you are still just a kid. Mm. You got some more growing up to do before you're ready to be the big hero. But you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. Wow. Until your moment arrives. Yeah. I want you to work on being a little more responsible. Well, things are about to go crazy, so. Wow, oh, terrible shirt, detective. Terrible <laughs> shirt. Okay, you're free to go. You have our number. Sorry, can't hear you. Can't hear you. <laughs> I like how the dog has glasses on. Okay. okay. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> oh my god. If these readings are accurate. Okay, so here. they're saying this mid credit scene took place during the sequel. Here. Interesting. How about my tie? Don't worry about me, even though I'm just going crazy over here a few seconds ago. Really? Derek from Criminal Minds? Don't open the door! He's back! I knew it. I knew it so. Did you miss me? I don't think so. But... Oh shit! Yeah! Beautiful. Wow. Okay, let's do this. Do I look like I need your power? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, they showed this in the trailer. Oh my god, I remember this. Ooh, shit. It's my destiny to do what my ancestors could not. It's tails. Ooh, they see that coming. <laughs> Bye. He's coming. Here he comes. It is an honor to finally meet you, Sonic. I think we lost him. Nope. You're going to brush him through it. Yep. You want to intensely drive off? That makes sense. He can fly, but... 
Uh oh. If you don't know how to floss, you'll be lost without me. I understand nothing of what you just said. Welcome yeah, where to are the they? Wayne Cave. Oh my gosh. Which is something I hope to someday say to a woman. There's an emerald symbol on the map Longclaw gave me. Mm. I never knew what it meant before. What? It's the secret location of the master emerald. Of course it is. Of course it is. Follow the map. Find the Follow emerald the map. and keep it safe. Yeah. My dear Sonic. You know, I knew a kid in middle school named Knuckles. Could fit his whole fist in his mouth. <laughs> What they're this talking the about. You're coming with me. You're oh, coming no, with me. No, 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 no. Yes, you are. Come I on. Some kind of uh, space porcupine. Porcupine? Of course. It was all front. Of course. He's flying solo. Not, not anymore. He's not. He's got tails. There's a light up ahead. Maybe we can take uh -oh. shelter in there. Another bar fight? Monsters. I don't know what that means. Okay. Yes. Oh. That's a lot of tails. <laughs> Just like in the first film, he passed out when he was back turned. Group of warriors Whoa. known as the Echidnas forged the seven chaos emeralds. A single warrior could defeat entire armies. Mm. Oh, shit. Well, that did something. Heads up, my little static mites. Heads up. Someone call an Uber. You didn't see that coming, did you? Ooh. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Wow, here we go. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, my rings. But my father stopped me from joining the fight. He said my moment to honor our tribe would come. See you. He actually didn't no, deceive no, it wasn't you. A trick. Oh. Of course. Avalanche, here it comes. Oh no. That's Sonic that music, I think. <laughs> yes. Did you throw it? Oh god. What? What tell me what what got? I think I mixed up the rings when I was teasing too. Oh fuck! Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh my god, this is terrible. I can't watch this. I can't watch this. Give me the ring, give me just one second. Put a ring on it! Here it comes! <laughs> There are two of them now. Okay, okay. Let me think. Let me think. Tails, come on, buddy. Uh-oh. Should have taken me up on that brunch, Mr. and Mrs. Wachowski. Oh, shit. Look, Garden Guy, you mean to tell me that this entire wedding was a... What? Wait a minute. That's a twist. That's correct, ma'am. I am so sorry. This is fucked up. I am so sorry. Robotnik is dead. You're wrong. No. He's back. Run, Randall. <laughs> All right. Hey, calm down. I'm about to find out. <laughs> I just feel a little guilty about what I did to Rachel, sir. Do you feel guilty? You should, ass. <laughs> kind of twisted sicko tricked someone mm -hmm. into a fake wedding. Hell hath no fury like a bride scorn. <laughs> Whoa. What is that? A big problem. Oh my god. Ooh, he's going fast. That's awesome. He's pushing himself. Whoa. Nina Jones. <laughs> that reminds me of him. Work smarter, that's okay. My god! Whoa! Yeah, dodge, dodge, dodge. At last, the master. You know that he's not gonna let you take that. You guys are here too? Took the long way, huh? Is everything a joke to you? Why must you I mean? Dude! 
dude. Taking no prisoners today. <laughs> that, I knew that was coming. Oh shit. <laughs> Of course he's up there. Of course he is. Hi there, beautiful. You poor, naive creature. Hey, did you really think he was is working with you really like that? A more advanced intellect would have seen this move coming a mile away. Yeah. Oh, shit. We gotta save him, man. Knuckles! Exactly. Why did you save me? Yeah, why? <laughs> Because you <laughs> saved me first. Because Why did you save me? Because being a hero isn't about taking care of yourself. It's about taking responsibility for other people. On the mountain, you told me you lost everything. That's true. The way I did. But you seem so hopeful and free. Whoa. Doctor, not all there. Sir, are you feeling okay? My game is next level. Level. <laughs> His voice is so weird. They're here. There's a lot of people. But if he is local PD, this town's in a lot of trouble. Wade. Wade. He's floating out. That's not good. Whoa. Yeah, he's uh next level now. Literally. Yeah. The train too. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. That can only be one thing. What in the hell did he make? Yeah, this this whole film has just gone to a completely new level. A giant robot, of course. <laughs> Pantera. Awesome. I'm gonna pop that thing open like a can of Oh, you better watch out, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Look, we aren't strong enough to beat Robotnik on our own. Together, yeah. Your strength, your smarts, this is our moment. Or your moment. Let's do it. Go to your certain death with honor. We're gonna have to work on your pep talk, pal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Awesome. That's because I have one million percent muscle. Fast the fuck! First Green Hills, then the universe, then the multiverse. The multiverse? Maybe I'll be enough. That's not scary at all. <laughs> you can't outsmart me! I mean, Safari is. Ooh! Knocked it out of him, nice. That's not scary at all, my. Cracked, it looks like it is. What? Oh. No. No, 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 no. We're family. We're family stick together. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh shit. Oh shit, you fucked up. Don't fall for it. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> We're not friends. Of course not. It's still him. Okay. He's exactly the Sonic you once knew. Exciting lineup today. Oh my gosh, bringing this back. Of two new players. Power bump. Oh, power bump. Oh no. Victory is mine. My victory chariot. <laughs> Dad. Dad? When we were wiping Robotnik off our database, we found something. Someone worked very hard to keep this hidden. My God. What? What? Shadow. 
just like with the first film, this film, of course, had a mid-credit scene, and it was teasing Shadow the Hedgehog. That is so cool. Love the design. Cannot wait to see Shadow, I'm assuming, in the third film. Now, in speaking about mid-credit scenes, in the first one, of course, was Tails, teasing Tails. I wasn't expecting them to basically show the mid credit scene again in this film, showing that timeline-wise he pops up after Tom and his wife. And I, just, it, her name's still not clicking in my head. Apologies for that. But when they go off to go to her sister's we uh, wedding, well, wedding, right? And it seems like they still were going to be together. I don't know, because the, the whole twist there, which was quite surprising. But... Then Tails shows up because I'm like, where's Tails at? And then it's like, oh, he hasn't showed up yet. That mid credit scene, they found a way to incorporate it into the timeline to where he didn't just pop up. And then now we're jumping into the second film. And then at some point he's going to show himself like we see it play out again, timeline wise. So that was interesting. So anyways, now this film overall, I enjoyed, I think, more than the, than the first one. Dr. Robotnik, of course, Jim Carrey, phenomenal as always. He's so good as this character. And I don't believe he is actually gone now. Jim Carrey was talking about potentially retiring. And they said something about where that if if he was to retire, they weren't going to bring the character back. Whatever. I remember reading that somewhere because there was a lot of talk about Jim Carrey said he might retire early, like early, but at, soon at some point, like he might retire. So there was something about to where if he doesn't want to come back to play Dr. Robotnik, because it's pretty obvious he's not actually dead, dead. Uh, something's going on there that um, they would not, they would not bring someone else to play the role. It's, it's Jim Carrey's role. So I, I kind of appreciate that, but as always he delivered and um, him getting the emerald and everything and the voice modulation they did on his voice and the powers and everything and the gigantic <laughs> robot and the fact that they kept calling him Eggman, the fact that literally, cause now he's bald and everything in, in the mustache is really crazy now that Sonic is just throwing out Eggman, 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 just throwing out that reference, throwing out that name. But, um, Knuckles, Knuckles, of course, and Tails, which are the two big additions to this film. So Knuckles, I'll, I'll get to Tails in a minute because we saw him in the mid credit scene. So we kind of knew he was coming. Obviously, obviously with the marketing, they were going to market Knuckles was in the movie. So Knuckles, I felt was a great addition in the fact of his his backstory, how it does tie into Sonic's backstory, his origin, essentially, and how, in a sense, Sonic lost everything, and also Knuckles lost everything on that day, essentially, that everything kind of went down where he went to Earth, and Knuckles didn't see his father again, and so they're on complete opposites in regards to how they've been handling this whole situation, and how they've been handling that moment, that day. And so seeing Knuckles align himself with Dr. Robotnik, he thought he could trust him. I'm like, he can't, but he didn't know that. He doesn't know that. But I like how Idris Elba portrays Knuckles. Obviously, the design is great for Knuckles. And how they go about his words and his expressions. And like, the base of ball. <laughs> and, and talking about ice cream with sprinkles and just certain things. And just the way he goes about phrasing these, and also reading the text that was going back and forth when they're fake texting Sonic. That was a funny little moment. Dot, 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 dot. Cause the dots just keeps keep repeating. Cause the, cause Sonic is typing back. <laughs> it was, it was good. So I really enjoyed Knuckles, uh, his appearance. And I'm glad that now it seems we're going to be getting all three of them, I guess in the third film, uh, working together. Cause that was something they mentioned is that Sonic needs to have friends. He needs to have buddies. And now he does. And they did say they're doing a Knuckles show. I'm not sure how that's gonna how that's gonna work in terms of budget for Paramount Plus. So we'll see if that still is happening. But they said they are developing a Knuckles show. I'm guessing to show more of his life before he came to Earth. I'm guessing it's gonna be before he actually goes to Earth and everything and saving Doctor Robotnik. So I, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But um, so Tails, Tails is honestly, I think. The, like one of the best things about the film, in my personal opinion. Now, obviously, there, there's so many good things about this movie. I really like Tails' portrayal. I like how they portray uh, his uh, his this interpretation of Tails. Uh, the design, the voice is really good. The gadgets he makes and everything, and flying the plane around and just like, and he's very loyal. And the fact is, they explain that when Sonic first in the first movie was running in the um, 
it was, is it called like the ba- a baseball diamond or whatever where all the four all the bases and he's going back and forth and he creates that power outage he was notified where he was in his home planet and he was able to like witness hit the hero or you know sonic the legend and everything and um and then he came to help him because he knew because once he found out the knuckles was going after him he had to warn him but then he's like well no no i came here to warn you i'm not gonna go with you on that mountain it's like no no no, we're going to do this together, man. We're friends. We're pals. And they got to bond over time. So, so essentially what it was is the first film was about Tom and Sonic bonding and becoming friends, right? And in this film, it's kind of like that, except a very different circumstances with Sonic and Tails to where Tom and Sonic went on an adventure to go to California to get the rings back, which, by the way, they did not go back to get the rings when they all fell off that mountain, when they're still out there, like the, the rings are gone. So that's something that needs to be addressed at some point. And I just thought about that. I completely actually forgot about that. Cause so much stuff happened since the rings fell and everything. And there was that moment where Sonic and Knuckles are talking and maybe the thresholds can be broken in terms of, you know, their differences and everything. But then of course, you know, Tails saves Sonic and stopping Knuckles, but Tails didn't know what was happening, but it's okay. But the rings are now gone. So unless Sonic finds them or something or he finds more rings, I don't know how that's going to work. But anyways, but like I said, Tails was a great addition. I like the parallels of like Tom and Sonic in the first movie and this one is being Sonic and Tails. I thought another bar fight was going to go down. It was a bar dance off, which was kind of strange. That was the one thing that was goofy, but I don't, I don't know. But then again, if they, if they would have done another bar fight, which I predicted, it would have been seen as, oh, they've already done this. So I get it. It's fine. Um, so finding the emerald and all that. Well, first of all, finding the actual like like compass or whatever to then find the temple underwater was a pretty interesting thing. And, and I mentioned this in the reaction, and I'm, and I'm thinking more about this. This film, I think budget-wise, was a little bit more than the first one. But the scope of what they were telling in this was definitely bigger than the first one because in the first film was more about sonic being on earth adapting hiding and then the rings dr robotnik all that but it wasn't like a gigantic film in terms of a lot of locations and a lot of big like cgi a lot of big moments and in this one they really pushed themselves because i think in the first film they did enough of those big moments but the story is more contained in terms of it's not we're not we're not doing a lot of stuff at once we're kind of telling a more simpler story and here it's more complex we have more characters of course with knuckles and tails and everything and dr robotnik is doing even more crazy stuff and the emerald and the maze and all that stuff and the giant like all that stuff made it a grander film now tom and his wife like i said her name just escapes me i apologize for that um, I, I don't remember them saying her name that much in these two movies, so it wasn't sticking in my head. But um, but they didn't have as much of a role in this one. They still had a significant part to play in regards to their connection to Sonic, and they're seeing him kind of like a son. And that moment at the end there where Sonic calls Tom dad, because in the beginning when they're on the, ro- on the rowboat, well, they're out in the boat in the, uh, in the lake fishing, and Sonic's sleep fishing that he's like stop treating me like treat me like treat me like a friend i want to be your friend i don't want to stop treating me like a son a kid you know and then he has that moment at the end before they go out to get ice cream apparently with sprinkles which why was i not invited he calls him dad he sees him as a dad i'm guessing that's mom so that's a pretty big moment and i'm guessing tails and knuckles are just going to be the friends they're not going to be considered part of the kids i don't know they could be i have no idea no idea so Dr. Robotnik is dead. I feel like they might find a way to bring him back if Jim Carrey is willing to do so. Um, We'll see what happens with that. The whole Emerald thing, I think they did a really cool job of establishing how much power he really had. Because that sequence where he's tearing apart and he's like in a a pose. First, he he just floats out of the Mean Bean coffee shop. And then he starts floating in the air, holding like a certain pose and creating a tornado. And he's ripping apart tanks and trucks and shit. And then he starts ripping apart trains and other things. And he creates this gigantic 
like a like a gigantic tornado, the biggest tornado ever, and then it, the dust settles in the giant <laughs> giant Doctor Robotnik robot, the biggest thing ever, and he's controlling it kind of like Jaegers are being controlled in um, in a Pacific Rim. Where in Pacific Ring, obviously they have like these helmets and they're connected and there's two of them and they're running and then the robot's running and it's all synced up to the brain. In this, he had electricity coming off him because of the emerald that Dr. Robotnik, of course, betrayed Knuckles and everything and took the emerald. He was able to control in that sense the lightning and everything and he's just like, psh, 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 and then rockets are flying out. He's able to control the whole thing in that, like a dome area in the helmet. Now... As I was kind of predicting, at some point, Sonic is going to get <laughs> the Emerald. He's going to he's gonna be a part of the Emerald. And it, it broke apart, and then he thought, all three of them, they were presuming that, you know, we're, we're all going to die here. Dr. Robotnik is going to slam the foot down. And, of course, the Emerald, uh, like, basically fuses back together. And then I don't remember exactly what they call it. Supersonic or something? Like, I, I read something like that at some point where it's, like, a gold Sonic or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the exact naming. All I know is that it's badass. He was a badass. And then Knuckles making that joke saying, he's not the Sonic you once knew or the Sonic you knew before. And then he's, like, summoning power and shit, and it's a chili dog. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course it's the chili dog. Uh... But yeah, I'm really excited for Shadow. I'm excited for that. And the fact is, too, that apparently Shadow has been a part of a secret government testing site or something for quite some time. For, they said, 50 years ago or something. I, so, okay. Interesting. Now, I thought it was interesting how they found a way to incorporate... I think her name was Longclaw. The, the, the owl that helped, um, that helped Sonic, of course, go to Earth in the first film when he was younger as baby Sonic, as I call it, little Sonic, we got to see like a video message from Longclaw and it was saying how, you know, I was the protector of the Emerald. Now I pass this on to you. I I'm glad they found a way to incorporate her because like, we didn't see a lot of her, of course, in the first film. And so I'm glad they found a way to incorporate her in some way into this one, because I feel like she's pretty significant to Sonic's origin in the narrative that they're that they're trying to they're they're trying to go with with this version of Sonic. So I'm trying to think it was Lo I, don't, I don't know if Longclaw was ever in the Sonic games or anything. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Apologies for that. But I enjoyed how they went about uh telling the story being a grander story with more characters and it was funny. It was funny. And the whole twist everything. I I, I don't want to forget this part. The whole twist of the wedding. <laughs> Everybody there pretty much was a part of FBI in some sort of capacity or whatever, and they were all there to trick, like, hopefully Sonic shows up or whatever, because literally, if they really wanted to try to catch Sonic, wouldn't they want to try to get Sonic to go to the wedding? But that didn't happen at all, it was just a happenstance that Sonic showed up. So I don't know, that was like one of those weird things, like, if you were going to plan this, like, this whole Operation Catfish thing, tricking uh, Tom's sister's or Tom's wife's sister into that wedding, of course, with Derek from Criminal Minds. I forget his name, uh, the actor, but he's a, he's a Shamar Shamar Moore something. Maybe I'm messing that up. But anyways, uh, the, we didn't get to cover that again. I guess I guess it was non important once we got past that point. This the part in the storyline. But it was funny nonetheless and quite surprising with that twist. But then if they really wanted to get Sonic, wouldn't they want to try to hang at the wedding? Anyways, I know I'm repeating myself, but like I'm just trying to think, how could they have done that differently? <laughs> that one thing. But the twist was surprising. And the snow coming and all that. But anyways, so Sonic the Hedgehog 2, pretty funny. Fun as hell. And more intense. It's great to see Knuckles and Tails in the mix. A grander story and now i'm really excited for sonic the hedgehog 3 i cannot wait for the third film because these first two crushed these first two films did really good at what they were trying to accomplish the first film was setting up more of an origin getting sonic you know adapted to this uh to earth and getting us to understand this world and now telling a second film with uh some really popular characters in the sonic franchise on a larger scale and everything so what do you guys think of the, uh, the video and what do you guys think of the film overall? I'm curious to know some of your favorite moments from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content for, on the channel. So, of course, we'll be posting more reactions and all that kind of stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.